Live Storm Tracker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Well, all quiet this morning, kind of similar to how it was yesterday, but temperatures are getting a little bit warmer. And at 8.38 this morning, most of the region has warmed up to the lower mid-40s already, gotten out of the 30s. And even though you might need that jacket this morning, you're not going to be needing it for this afternoon. It's going to be quite pleasant if you've got any outdoor plans for later today. Here's a look at Storm Tracker top of radar. Nice clean sweep across the whole area. And here's looking live at the Tower Place Tower Camera in Monroe, where we've had some light haze develop. We do have a very moist environment right now. Humidity is up with dew points temperatures being so close to each other. It's 47 degrees at the Manila Airport. Dew points in the lower 40s. Winds are currently calm just out of the south and southwest. It's 50 already in Monticello. We're at 40 degrees El Dorado, 45 in Camden, 50 out in Ruston, mid 40s along I 49 between Natchez and Alexandria. Here's a look at the current dew points and holding out uh, mid 40s for most of the area. So at here at the surface, it's still a rather moist environment as winds are continuing to flow out of the uh, south and southwest. But in the upper levels of the atmosphere, you can kind of see on water vapor imagery that uh, yellow and brown color that's currently dry air and that's the reason why the skies will remain clear uh, throughout the day and high pressure still having influence in the area as it sits just far down to the south across the Gulf of Mexico. It's going to keep moving to the northeast a little bit allowing for more flow of warm moist air back into the region and so we'll start to see some clouds start increasing for tomorrow but today anything outdoors it's going to be rather pleasant just a cool start today but the sunshine continues being nice and mild for this afternoon. Now the next few days the clouds are just going to slowly increase we'll be seeing partly cloudy skies for tomorrow as the high pressure moves off to the northeast and then we have a weak boundary layer that will be forming across the Great Plains and it's going to be moving again on Thursday but as far as rain chances are concerned it's not looking like it's going to be doing a whole lot because models are hinting at the possibility that the mid upper levels of the atmosphere are looking to be still rather dry so therefore rainfall not going to be much of an issue because we kind of need deep layer moisture to have sufficient rainfall and that's not looking like it's going to be a possibility but here at the surface we will have enough moisture in place where cloud cover will be allowed to increase, but that's about all it's going to do. Now, temperatures, they are going to continue to rise. We will kind of cool down after that cool front moves through on Thursday, but looking ahead into the weekend and next week, these temperatures potentially going to be in the upper 70s. It's going to feel like an early spring, but almost like an early summer at the way these temperatures keep going. Now, as far as rainfall for the next uh, several days looking long term, we did pick up on a lot of rain within the past 30 days, which has no doubt been helpful for our soils, but we still have drought conditions that are ongoing, as Especially down across central Louisiana, we got moderate tier two, but much of South Arkansas has improved a lot just within the past 30 days. And we're a lot better than how we were sitting not too long ago. Some models hinting at the possibility next Wednesday and Thursday of next week, we could potentially pick up on some rainfall, but that's still a long ways out. A lot can change between now and then. But anything we do pick up, no doubt, will continue to help with our ongoing drought. We're expecting high ascent who agrees with this afternoon. Winds will stay out the south. And for tonight, temperatures mainly upper 40s, going to be a little bit warmer, mostly clear and quiet. Now winds will become a bit breezier for tomorrow as we see that front start to move closer as partly uh, the uh, clouds kind of start moving in. And then on Thursday, the weak front moves through, cooling us down a hair for Friday. But this weekend is going to be quite pleasant. Temperatures in the mid-70s. Any weekend plans going to be great for that. Uh, by next Monday, clouds will start to rebuild. Overnight lows will be mainly mid-50s.